How's it going guys? I'm Manny the Phenom of Phenom Studios here with you on week 11 to do another schoolism vlog. This week I hopped on uh, digital drawing for beginners with the, the teacher is uh, Alex, uh, no Andrew Hugh, Andrew Hugh. And um, it's been, uh, <laughs> I started it last Thursday, so today's Thursday. I'm almost done, done with it. It's, it's a lot, there's a whole bunch of lessons. Uh, I have two more lessons left. Right now I'm learning about, just going over backgrounds. Uh, I'm, I'm learning a lot about, it's, it's all about Photoshop, so that's good. I'm learning cool things here and there. I, I have been running into trouble. Um, first of all, the pro, he's using a version of Photoshop that's really old, I mean, CS4, I think he said. I don't know how old that is. I don't even know. I, I have the latest version. I don't know what version that is. I just know his version doesn't look like like mine. And uh, when I initially saw that, um, I was like, uh, just seeing an older version of something and, and me having to learn it. I, I don't know why I don't like that. I just don't like seeing older versions of things. But yeah, so, and, and he's, um, Andrew Hugh, he knows his stuff. He's a great artist, I can tell. Um, real professional it's just the, his the way he talks it's just not the most exciting thing to listen to and he has like an Asian accent it just makes things harder for me to to learn from it just keeps it's just hard to keep my interest he's not like an exciting teacher no offense Andrew uh, I know you know what you're doing and uh, I'm, uh, I'm sure he's not watching this but talented dude I am learning things but it, it's hard to keep my attention there but I can say that about everything, really. <clears throat> so the way he does things, like the drawing and adding values and the coloring, just the order of things and how he does it, I, I've now realized in Photoshop there's a million and one ways to do one thing, you know? And he has his own way, so I was trying to practice his way, which was slowing down my, my artwork big time. Uh, I was running into issues because I was trying to think his way and things weren't going right, so I keep going back to re-watching his videos, like how did he do this? Instead of just doing things the way I've been doing it when it comes to digitally coloring stuff, um, I've been trying to do it his way. I'm taking his courses, doing his assignments, so. Um, so I, I've been kind of, and he's really clear about it, you know, it's his way. You know, everyone has their own way, you don't have to do it his way. But I've been trying his way and then doing, doing it my way, kind of like mixing the two. You know, I'm starting to get it. I, I've been learning about masking and adding value to, to the drawings. His assignments are pretty easy. Nothing complex like drawing the freaking blanket I did in the, with uh, Jonathan Hardesty in the, in the last course I did. I have the Hasumi Fair coming up, which is uh, this Japanese garden, this big Japanese garden. They host weddings and events, but th this uh, the Hasumi Fair is like anime based, so they're gonna have cosplayers and vendors, so I'm, I'm gonna be one of the vendors, so I've been, this whole week I've been trying to pump out anime, anime artwork to have it ready for the fair in, in two weeks. So that's what I was focusing on this, on this week, so while doing his assignments, I was trying to apply, apply what he wanted us to do in the assignment and put it into my work. So the first thing I did was this uh, Bakugo from My Hero Academia. This thing came out pretty awesome, I gotta say. I wanted to do something uh, nuclear-like. I wanted to put the atomic bomb going off in the background. It came out pretty good. What he had us do was draw it, and then then, then he does the value first. He'll add the shade, the shadow, and then he'll mask that. The, um, he'll mask the, the outline of the body, and then he'll start to add color. It's just a weird process that I'm not used to. So this one took me forever trying to do it his way. Um, but it was interesting, it came out interesting. I definitely, none of my other work looks like this, so. Um, it was something. And then there was an assignment on cell, cell coloring, which I kind of did with this uh, guy one, my guy, eight, eight Gates. This was a previous drawing I had, and I just wanted to color it. Um, I kind of did cell shading, or cell coloring, and then I then I added my own thing to it. I was doing, trying to do the glow effects. And then I had this Todoroki I did, more another thing from My Hero Academia. It's a popular anime, I'm trying to cash in on it, so hopefully people are gonna like this one. This, this one was really cool. It's just a scene from the show that I, I just copied, really. Another drawing I previously did, and, and then I just scanned it to Photoshop and updated it, like re retraced it and put color into it and just made it look cool, put, put cool glow effects on it and added pizzazz to it. And this is the one I just did uh, I was working on yesterday and today this Dragon Ball Z mashup 
These are all previous drawings I did on paper before and I scanned it to the computer, retraced it, and then colored it so now it looks more professional, looks cooler. Uh, I put a generic background back there, but I just reverse roles for the characters, put them in, in each other's different clo clothing. And I drew that a year ago and I just updated it in the past two days. But yeah, those were the, the drawings I was working on this week. Uh, the, the course has been helpful, uh, even though I am having the hardest time staying focused and staying awake during these sessions. It's just, it's, it's part of the course, you know, gotta push through it. Today was a grueling day, man. I, I just wanted to take a nap all day and um, been pushing myself. I have an alarm that I, I've set on my phone that plays every other hour. It starts at 9, then 11, then 1, then 3, then 5. It just keeps giving me reminders to stay focused. And um, it's not just like a generic alarm sound. It's people's, it's um, influencers like Tom Bilyeu or Ed Milet, people I listen to, their podcasts. I, I took bits that uh, of their audio and put it together. Like David Goggins is, is on there too. And I mashed it all together and, and made like a, like a six minute thing so when it goes off it's my alarm when I wake up in the morning as well it's just it's it's been a game changer I've been using it for like a week and a half now and it's really been oh my god it's been helping a lot honestly like this morning I went to sleep kind of late and this morning I didn't wait, want to wake up for the gym but the alarm comes on and then it just like it drives me it pushes me it gives me that spark and even today it's been going off every other hour and it's been pushing me to finish that Dragon Ball Z drawing make this video and um, here I am man it's, that's life though you have, you have to like kind of hack your brain do what works for you that this alarm thing is working for me and maybe you would want to try it too but as I said I have two more lessons in this course with uh, Andrew here Hugh on digital painting after I'm done with this course I'll probably take something on backgrounds because I, I need help on that for sure uh, I don't know, I'll keep you guys updated if the next video will be out next week, next Thursday. I'm trying to keep on schedule here, keep it going. Thanks for watching guys, just want to update you real quick and that's it for this video. And um, let me know what you think in the comments. And until next time, peace out.